Hello. Thank you for coming. Here we have a Commodore 64. It's a little dirty. The 5 key and the stem are broken. The 9 key and the stem are broken. And the key next to that, which I should know what it is, but it escapes me. Oh, the 0 key. The 0 key is also broken, but the stem is there. Now the notes on the back of this say that it works okay. Keyboard issues. Well, yeah, there are things broken. It says works okay, cart okay. That means the, the test cartridge is okay, dirty. Yep, it is. But this may be a good candidate, even though it probably works. Well, certainly the keyboard is going to need attention at some point. I'm using a somewhat butchered Commodore 120 power supply, <coughs> and it's just a little tougher to get in. Oh. So yes. Keyboard issues do need to be dealt with. The zero key is staying stuck. It is, and that's affecting everything else. So we'll put in the dead test, it will be fine. That was easy. And I see that this has Torx screws. Make the screwdriver have. No, just not. And the torque screws, of course, they're like the six-sided, kind of, with points. Um, often, <coughs> I found that some time ago, and I don't know if it's still the case, because I don't have a real modern, modern car. But, um, they were often used initially by car companies to put headlights in. Maybe other things too. Commodore of course started to use them because not many people had, or not as many people had Torx bits as the um, Phillips to keep people out of the machine. They did. Also, maybe, I don't know how much automation there was in the factory, but maybe it made it easier for either the automatic things or the people to put these machines together. But I am ready and prepared. Now the reason it is that I'm going to open this up once this finishes, and it will finish in a moment, I think, is I found two newer circuit boards. And I'm hoping this is a newer circuit board. Uh -huh. And they are both lacking... Oh. They are both lacking chips that are in sockets. And the last machine I looked at that I might have used as a donor or as a test machine had uh, the warranty sticker had never been opened. So I'm not going to, or never been pierced. So I'm not going to do that with that one. I'm hoping that this one is a similar new board that I can use. If not, I think I have another one around somewhere. I think where, well, it might be on the pile of good 64s. So, as always, on these, there's a little extra thing to tweak. I don't remember exactly where, I never seem to remember exactly where. There we go, there's one. There's two. I 
see what I have here is not what I'm after. I think this is more like the test board. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. It is. And judging from the way the fingers are bent, there's more of a bend to them. Um, nothing much is in sockets. So, so well. Shielding is good. I like the shielding. Oh, well, you know what? The video chip is in socket, in a socket, but it generally is. But the rest of them, just from the bins, that's funny though. The 6526 chips are not fingered. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, as this machine is working, don't have to dig into it deeper to know that I'm happy that it's working, but it's not at the right spot. No. I'm having trouble. There we go. There we go. Getting the keyboard to sit nice. Funny, I didn't have the torque screws on the inside of the key, on the keyboard anyway. There's other funny little screws, and they go in just fine. Make it look. Yeah, but it has torque screws on the on the actual circuit board. Anyway, so this machine. It is fine. Well, it's not fine. It has broken keys. That didn't close nice. But it's not going to be help, helpful in me figuring out the boards. The small boards, which I should know the number two, but I don't. It is not going to be helpful. But it's a working 64, so that's always good. Anyway, I, the, the other thing, of course, is the one with the warranty seal that I didn't open. It might not be a new uh, board either. So that's why I don't want to. I don't want to open it unless I have. Heavens, we can't avoid the Commodore warranty. Oh, right. Update. So the last time I looked at this was August of 2014. Uh, I'm going to go straight. 250425. Not. Socketed. Made in the USA. Huh. Well, very good, another working Commodore 64. I'm going to continue my search for more machines. And I know there are more, I just haven't found them yet. And um, I'd also try and find one of these that has a new board so that I can test the other little boards. So will that happen immediately? No, but I'll keep looking. I have, generally, patience, tremendous patience. And as I, oh, as I look out the window, it's snowing, the wind is howling, grand. Anyway, stay tuned. Thank you for coming. 
more episodes. We'll cover more things in the future. Comments are always welcome.